Beirut, Reuters, Iran said attacks would continue on rebel-held areas near Damascus, where clashes were reported on Sunday between insurgents and government forces despite a UN resolution demanding a 30-day truce across Syria. Warplanes and artillery hit some towns in the eastern Gouda enclave, said residents, rescuers, and the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights. The observatory, a UK-based war monitoring group, said Sunday a Euro trademark S-bombing was less intense than the attacks over the past week. Rebels said they clashed with government forces on several front lines in the early hours of Sunday. There was no immediate comment from the Syrian military. Iranian General Mohammad Bakari, whose government backs Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, said Tehran and Damascus would respect the UN resolution. But the Iranian military chief of staff also said the truce did not cover parts of the Damascus suburbs a euro held by the terrorists a euro, the Tasnim news agency said. Several previous ceasefires have unraveled quickly in the seven-year war in Syria, where Assad a euro trademark s military has gained the upper hand with the help of Iran and Russia, its key allies. The UN Security Council resolution on Saturday followed seven straight days of bombing by pro-government forces on the besieged eastern suburbs, in one of the deadliest offensives of the war. The council voted unanimously to demand a truce to allow for aid access and medical evacuations. Yet while Moscow supported adopting the resolution, Russian UN Ambassador Vasily Nebenzia cast doubt on its feasibility. The ceasefire resolution does not include militants from the Islamic State, Al-Qaeda, and the Nusra Front. Bakery said Iran and Syria would adhere to it. But a euro parts of the suburbs of Damascus, which are held by the terrorists, are not covered by the ceasefire and cleanup operations, will continue there a euro Tasnim quoted him as saying. The latest escalation by Damascus and its allies has killed more than 500 people in the enclave over the last week, the observatory has said. The dead included more than 120 children. Air strikes and shelling on Sunday killed four people in eastern Gouda and injured 27 others, it said. The Syrian government and Russia deny hitting civilians. Moscow and Damascus have said they seek to stop mortar attacks by militants injuring dozens in the capital. The United Nations says nearly 400,000 people live in eastern Gouda, a pocket of satellite towns and farms under government siege since 2013. It is the only remaining big rebel bastion near Syria a Euro trademark s capital. Jaish al-Islam, one of the two major Islamist factions in Gouda, said fierce battles raged on along several front lines of Sunday. Hamza Berkdar, the military spokesman, said the insurgents had thwarted attacks by pro-government forces trying to advance. Rebels and troops have clashed with each others around the enclave in recent weeks. Russia said it was counting on foreign supporters of anti-government forces in Syria to ensure that the ceasefire was observed, the foreign ministry said on Sunday.